July 1942, Japanese Imperial forces are rolling relentlessly south. Singapore has fallen, Northern Australia is being bombed, and the Japanese have landed in New Guinea. Fearing imminent invasion, Australia sends the 39th Militia Battalion to stop the Japanese war machine. They're young, inexperienced and ill-equipped. 39th Battalion of the Australian Military Forces in, uh, on the Kokoda Trail uh, is one of the most gallant uh, units that's ever put on Kaku. They were told to hold the Kokoda Track, a 96 kilometre trail winding its way from New Guinea's north coast towards Port Moresby in the south, crossing the steep and rugged Owen Stanley Range. If the Japanese had have broken through when they captured Kokoda here, uh, and then they went on to Isharava. If they'd have broken there, they would have uh, captured Moresby and been in a position to either control or invade Australia. And they knew the price they'd have to pay a lot of them, and of course they paid with their lives. A number of Japanese attacks were fought off by the Australian militia, but they were increasingly suffering from fatigue and sickness as the harsh terrain took its toll. Soldiers stumbled and crawled along the track. Many were carried. In a state of exhaustion, uh, they had hadn't been shaved and they were uh, very hungry. They were sometimes in high fever for malaria. Sometimes they were conscious, sometimes they were semi-conscious, sometimes in a coma from scrub typhus. They had um, extensive wounds sometimes with gas gangrene. And they also had uh, quite often um, infections in their wounds which made them very sick. Helping them were the locals, affectionately nicknamed the Fuzzy Wuzzy Angels. By August, the Australians had withdrawn over the mountains down the Kokoda Track towards Isaraba, a turning point in the campaign. The Aussies dug in and resisted the Japanese onslaught. Eventually, the Australians, aided by their American allies, pushed back the Japanese, who were now outnumbered. They retreated to the north coast, where they surrendered in January 1943. 625 Australians were killed in the campaign, while many died from sickness. The Japanese fared far worse. In the years since, walking the Kokoda Track has become a pilgrimage for Australians. Many contend that it is as historically significant as Gallipoli in defining Australia's sense of identity.